Hi, everybody. Joe Choppy here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And on tonight's Joe and Joe weather show, we're going to talk about the nice dry weather we had today, along with some smoky haze that has been uh, occurring in parts of the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states. And we will address that. Uh, Heavy rains across parts of the western Gulf states, severe weather in the western plains. What does this all mean for the weekend and Mother's Day? Tonight at 7.35 on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, which uh, also, as Weather in 5 is, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Whether you're a professional landscaper or a do-it-yourselfer, they've got mulch, topsoil, and sand. So get the truck over there, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. And Tempest by Weatherflow. They're our newest affiliate. Get the revolutionary Tempest weather system and join the fastest growing weather system, uh, weather network on the planet. Uh, the link to this is on the description to this video. And if you use the coupon code Joe and Joe Weather Show, you get an extra 10% off. So again, to emphasize the fact that if most of the weather is going on in the middle of the country, that's good for the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states. And for today, it's good for the entire Eastern seaboard. We do have some flood watches up in eastern Texas and western Louisiana, nosing into Arkansas. Also up further north in parts of Nebraska, Wyoming, and into Montana. And there's severe weather risk in some of those areas as well. But we're in pretty good shape here for the next five days uh, with uh, the way the weather pattern is. Now, I just want to point out, uh, this: uh, we saw this show up first uh, yesterday and uh, more so today. Uh, you see these this milky streaks that are showing up on the satellite view. That is actually smoke from wildfires that are going on in Alberta, Alberta province in Canada. And because we have a flow from the northwest in the upper atmosphere, that smoke has been uh, coming down and filtering some of the sunshine. It's led to some very... Uh, Pretty sunrises and a likely a really pretty sunset. So if you're into taking shots of sunrises and sunsets, good time to have your camera ready. And notice it's got sunny skies pretty much up and down the eastern seaboard with just a few minor exceptions. But as we widen out on the full U.S. view, you can see this comma-shaped swirl. There's an upper low sitting in East Texas, and it's basically trapped there. It's not going anywhere because... Uh, there's uh, a northwest flow that is in the northeast of mid-Atlantic in mid-Atlantic states, and a bit of a ridge to the north of this upper low. So it's just trapped, and it's going to remain so. So we're not going to see any of this moisture. The uh, issue will be whether some of the energy that is now coming out of uh, Utah, you see it there, moving into Colorado and points west, that's going to be a severe weather uh, uh, trigger uh, mechanism for tonight. Some of that energy is going to try and come over the top, but by the time it reaches us, it's going to be moving southeastward from the Great Lakes and weakening. And we'll have one of those weak weather systems late Friday night into Saturday morning, and then another one later Sunday night into monday morning meanwhile on the radar as you suspect it's doing absolutely nothing in the eastern united states you see the heavy rain over texas and also out in the gulf of mexico some showers uh into parts of alabama and mississippi uh we're seeing uh, some heavier showers and a few thunderstorms beginning to break out in parts of western nebraska and the storm prediction center has Slight risk from West Texas all the way up into eastern Wyoming and southwestern South Dakota with a small area of enhanced risk uh, that covers uh, northeastern Colorado, northwestern Kansas, and a small portion of southeast Nebraska. That comes with a 10% tornado risk. That's a pretty high number uh, uh, for a tornado risk uh, in this zone. We also have a 2% tornado risk uh, in uh, eastern uh, Texas. And into Louisiana, there's an area of marginal risk for severe weather there. Tomorrow, severe weather risk shifts slightly eastward. But again, we have enhanced risk from Oklahoma into Kansas. Big area of slight risk from Oklahoma going all the way up into South Dakota. A marginal risk from Louisiana to uh, the Florida coast, the west coast of Florida, and also into southwestern Georgia. This is going to come with another elevated tornado risk of 5 to 10% for tomorrow in Kansas. 
uh, and down into Oklahoma. So it's going to be uh, a bit uh, rocky uh, in the world of severe weather. Rainfall, interestingly enough, you'll notice that for much of New England, down to just north of New York City, this is for the next seven days, no rain at all is forecast. And that includes this weekend. Uh, you have to go to southern New Jersey. You get into the quarter of an inch zone. So this is where you might see some rain Friday night to Saturday morning, southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, half an inch southernmost New Jersey in a stripe across southern Pennsylvania. But the weather system will be moving along. It'll just produce a little bit more there, the two weather systems we're talking about. Meanwhile, big rains in Texas. We're talking about five to maybe as much as 10 inches for much of the central part of the state from south to north, heavy rains even pushing up into Oklahoma. Also, sizable rains up in the western parts of the central plains and in the northern plains, uh, an inch and a half to areas of two and a half inches plus uh, expected there. So it's basically a, a wash, rinse, repeat type of pattern that we are looking at. Uh, we're fine, of course, uh, for uh, tonight and for Thursday, temperatures Thursday We'll be reaching uh, the uh, mid-70s to lower 80s across the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states. You see where the rain is uh, in the, the uh, lower Mississippi Valley. You can see where the thunderstorms are uh, coming out of Colorado tonight. Uh, and a low that's just going to spin there because, again, it's all blocked from moving eastward. So tomorrow, uh, Thursday, looking good. Friday, I think we're going to look okay, and we're going to see temperatures rise up into the low and middle 80s, and we should have sunshine for most of the day. And then, as I said earlier, you see this energy that basically comes over the top from the plains to the Great Lakes and then moves southeastward. So there's this little area of rain Friday night into Saturday morning, just south of New York City, down to about Washington, D.C., Baltimore, in that alleyway uh, there. Uh, it'll move through. It should be out by afternoon, by early afternoon. So uh, other than maybe starting out with clouds, we'll have decreasing clouds and increasing amounts of sunshine where the areas that get rain, you'll have to get the rain out first, and then you'll see weather conditions improve. It'll be in the uh, 70s to the south and upper 70s to low 80s further north because you'll have more sun. Mother's Day looks fine. Sunshine, there'll be a north-northeast wind, cooler air coming down from eastern Canada. So highs will be, say, upper 60s north of New York City, uh, low and middle 70s from central New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania on southward. Here comes another one of these weak disturbances for Monday that'll move through with a small area of rain. And then out that goes. And then we dry out again for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Could turn out that much of next week, other than what happens on Monday, will wind up being on the dry side. So we've got some nice spring weather when you think about it in, in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states. And that's something we don't get too often in the spring. But we'll enjoy it, and we'll talk about it more tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. We hope to see you then.